Today, we remember 17 sailors who were killed when a guided missile destroyer USS Cole was attacked. The Cole is homeported here on Naval Station Norfolk, the world's largest naval base. And news reporter Angela Bohan was there today as dozens vowed to never forget. At the remembrance ceremony, I had the honor of speaking with local family members who lost a loved one that day 22 years ago. I also talked with a retired master chief who was aboard the ship when it was attacked. He only spent nine months. Sharon Lewis Gunn, Virginia Beach, Virginia. It means a lot that that day would never be forgotten. Sharon Gunn of Virginia Beach wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. He was one of 17 who died aboard USS Cole when it was attacked off the coast of Yemen on October 12, 2000. His brother recalls dropping him off for work that summer before deployment, never to see him again. You would think that you would see him when he gets back in another six months, but it never happened and it's something that you are never really prepared for. Retired Master Chief Paul Abney was aboard the ship that day. He says it's tough to relive the memories. As the explosion happened, he was thrown over my head and across the room. We later had to evacuate him out of the chief's mess and myself and another senior chief were doing CPR on him when they had to do the call. Uh, he wasn't going to make it. It means something special to be a coal sailor. There is a feeling connecting this with our past and legacy that I have not felt on other ships I have served. Petty Officer Christopher Avalos is one of a new generation of coal sailors. And there's not a day that goes by on the ship that's not like on our minds about what the ship went through, uh, the ultimate sacrifice that those sailors gave. I had to hold back tears when the trumpets started playing because that was when I kind of hit like what it is we're doing here, you know, uh, reliving the memory of those sailors. And the USS Cole just returned over a month ago after a nine month deployment. The captain says Cole is now in a maintenance period in Newport News and will be ready to serve in the new year. On Naval Station Norfolk, Angela Bohan, News 3.